I'm here in the famous Darabi slums. This is the biggest slum in the world. And first impressions, absolutely crazy. I think over one million people live here in Darabi slums. I'm gonna explore this place. I've seen, uh, it's like a market over here. There's a lot of things being sold, like from uh, phone cases to leather to anything you want, probably clothes, shoes, everything. So I'm gonna explore a little bit this place. There's even food, some fruit over here. So it's basically everything. You can find everything here. So I'm gonna explore a little bit this place. And uh, hopefully I can see the conditions over here. I have some facts about the Darab Islam. It's actually, uh, I think, one of the most unsanitary places here in Mumbai due to the lack of uh, running water. And uh, yeah, so I don't know if I'm gonna try anything in terms of food or drinks. I probably will, but I have to keep that in mind. I have to for sure not drink ice or uh, water here because I don't think it's gonna be good. I mean, I could handle uh, the water and the ice in uh, other places of India, but here, because the conditions are really, really poor, I don't know, I don't think it's gonna be good, so I should see. I'm gonna walk a little bit straight here, check out this place, it is absolutely chaotic, mayhem. A lot of people, a lot of cars, a lot of horns, the smells, Bye. the smells are pretty weird. In some parts, not everywhere. You get some smoky flavors, I don't know from where. You get the fruit flavors, you get the... I don't know, you get some uh, stinky flavors sometimes. It's a bit crazy. That's too much to handle, but... Yeah, as you can see here. I have some glasses, some belts. You could probably find anything you want here. Oh, even chargers. And then think... Man, I might, I might pick up a cable for my phone. We even had some uh, headphones, slippers. Damn, I cannot walk here. It's absolutely crazy. And then you have some uh, phone cases over here. So let's explore a bit this area. Hopefully I can uh, go inside like some uh, small alleyways here in the, in the slums just to see how the living conditions are. It's gonna be a bit difficult, but I will try. I'll try my best. But yeah, let, just, let me just show you so you can get an idea. Namaste, bye. As you can see, look at this. The construction buildings and whatnot. And if I'm correct, I've seen a video from uh, Nas Daily. And uh, he stated that the slum is going to be transformed into apartment complexes. Uh, because the government of India is spending, uh, I think, 60 uh, million, uh, 600 million uh, dollars to transform the slums into uh, residential apartment places. I'm not sure of that. Don't quote me. You can search a video for, from uh, Nas Daily online and check it out if you're interested. But yeah, this is a fascinating place. Definitely. Hello, bhai. How are you? Badia hai. Badia. Badia hai. Yes. Okay. What temple? Yeah. No, not temple. It's a darga. Okay. 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 The smells are pretty strong here. Video, ah, yeah. Video, yes. Video. Video. Yes, yes. Vlog, vlog, vlog. So, you have uh, bags. You have everything. You basically. Here. Which country? Oh. Uh, Greece. Which country? Greece. Which country you? Uh, Europe, please. Europe. Yes. A bit uh, difficult to communicate in here, but. Hello. Main under, under ja kya banao? This one. Alcohol. Alcohol, yeah. Yes, alcohol shop. They do even sell alcohol here, but I'm not interested. Hopefully, I can see some. I see some shops here. Let me just go check out a bit the clothes or the the shoes or anything. So yeah. You can get a lot of fake things here. Look at this. Absolutely crazy. Hello, bye. Namaste. Anything from shoes? Let's check the quality a bit. That looks pretty good, to be honest. 
I guess this should cost around, uh, uh, brother, kidna? 400. 400? Yeah. Uh, I was thinking around 500. Maybe you can get a bit of a discount if you hassle the price a bit down. Oh yeah. Just for your reference, that is approximately uh, $4. Oh, something. Okay. Hello, Brian. Namaste. Your shop? Hey. Okay. Badia? Badia. So, people are good here. As of now. Uh, I was kind of skeptical coming here by myself. It's a bit sketchy. I mean, not sketchy. It's uh, a bit dangerous for pickpockets, I think, and stuff like that. It's not the safest place to be. And uh, as a foreigner, definitely not the safest place to be, but I guess I'm gonna explore it so far so good. People are nice. But yeah, I'm gonna walk a little bit. Oh, maybe, no, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna cross the road. I see some sugar cane juice over there, probably. I'm gonna grab one. I love sugar cane juice. Cross the, road, cross the road before I get killed. All right, I'm past 10 rupees. Damn, I'm gonna stay by. Sugar cane? Sugar cane juice, yes? Uh, egg cup, 10 rupees. Okay, can I have it? Egg cup, nay ice. And look at this machine. Look at those plates. And he just presses it through and he gets the juice out. They have those mosquitoes over there, look at that. That's crazy. Okay, bye, no problem. That's the junk, so I don't really care. But let me just get a picture here. Look at this. Look at how it works. That is crazy. And you just pass it, passes I think one stick through, and it's enough to get a cup of sugar cane juice here. Hopefully I don't get bitten by mosquitoes, because I think there is dengue fever here. I didn't use any propellant, so I have to watch out a bit. Bro, you just destroyed the, uh, the sugar cane over there. Look at that. Yes, the best juice. Yes, the best juice. Sugar cane juice. Sugar cane juice, the best. Yes, yes, yes. yes I know. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. Yes. Very sweet. Oh, it's absolutely refreshing. Uh, I can't wait. Uh, look at that mosquito over there. This is red cake. Stinks. Red cake, red cake. Okay, okay. Alright. Really sick. It's gotta strain it. Yeah. And that's the juice over there. Look at that. Yeah, but you have to make it back. It's okay. There you go, mate. Thank you, mate. Is it mine? Mine? Okay. Go. So, Fresh sugar cane juice right. in the streets of Darabi. Uh, Let's try it. Wow. Oh, that's uh, very good. So refreshing. It's not that cold, but it's still very refreshing. And look at that. That's parcel. Parcel. Yes. They put it in uh, plastic bags for takeaway. That is absolutely crazy. That is refreshing. That is sweet. Natural sweetness, no added sugar. It's great. A very nice little little drink to start the day off in Darabi slums, Mumbai. Hello brother. Up kese? Well that's done. I throw this in there? Okay. So, how are you? You good? Good. Nice to meet you. Abkenam? Amul. Amul. Yeah. Nice to meet you, brother. You're yeah. from Darabi? Nein. Nein. No. Just visiting. Yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you, brother. See you. Hello. So, hello, brother. How are you? Good. How are you? How are you? Where are you from? Uh, Greece. Greece, where? In Europe. Europe, nice. Yes, Europe. I have a request for you. Sorry, again? I have a request for you. Request? Yep. Yes. I have a leather shop. Leather shop? Where are you shop? living there? Nearby, yeah. nearby. Yep. Okay. Leather product. Can you come with me? Yeah. The leather shop. Yep. I yep. don't need leather, brother. But it's uh, yep, manufactured here. Yeah. Okay. Let's check it out. Come. Let's check it out. Come. So the reason I'm going now because that was gonna be a leather market in India. 
Best leather market in India. Yeah, because there will be finished leather boots. Yes. Okay, the reason I'm going now is because Darabi is famous for its leather, leather uh, export. Yeah, leather goods. So it's basically, uh, I think, recycling uh, leather. So that's a, those are the main businesses here: recycling leather products. Uh, recycling of plastic. They're gonna kill me. Garments, yeah, yeah. For, uh, and the pottery. Here in Darabi, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's check your shop and out. The population is around 15 lakh in Uwaya Darabi. In Darabi. The, the biggest club. Yeah. The biggest club and the dentist for, uh, place in the world. Yes. The dense, dense, most the densely density, populated. Yeah. yeah. So basically, Darabi is also the most densely populated area, uh, residential area in the world, I think. That is absolutely crazy. Yeah, the market start from here. Yeah, okay. Uh, all these are my friends. So, as you can see, yeah, full on. Mr. Khalid Khan, KK. Hello, brother. Namaste. Full on leather shops here, yeah? yeah? yeah. So, just strips of leather shops here. Absolutely incredible. Full leather. So, yeah, as I said, mainly Daravi is famous for uh, the protection of leather and the recycling of plastic and other materials. So, those are the main businesses here. Oh yeah, as you can see, leather shop after leather shop after leather yeah, shop, it's yeah. absolutely crazy. You are from Daravi, brother? Yes. From Daravi, you live all here? I'm brought up in Daravi only. Okay. So, just arrived at my guy's uh, leather shop. Let's go inside, check the products, alright? Please come, come, come. Okay. We'll show you some good products. Let's check it out. Let me on the So, line. this is all handmade? Yeah, everything is handmade. Everything is handmade. So, look at that, you have everything from bags. And this is a big business in Darabia. Yeah? Exactly. Leather. Yeah. So uh, you have wallets, bags, let me jackets. Meet my friend, his Habib Alam, stay, is the owner and founder of this. Uh, you are the owner. Product. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. Okay, that is crazy. Look at all these leather products. We have everything from belts to bags, wallets, bags, jackets. We make we make customized jackets. And we deliver in one day. Customized. Customized. Jacket. Yep. Okay. I yeah, it's made crazy. Customized jacket in one day deliver. Any design. Any design. Yeah. Any color. Okay. Yeah. So here that. So as I said, leather here is a big business, and you can see, and it's pretty good quality to be honest. Pretty good, pretty nice bags. Feel, very good quality. Yeah, leather. very good quality. Yep. We use this metal zip. <coughs> yes. Yes. That looks really good. And look at the duffel bags also. And we give fire warranty to each and every product. You have warranty as well? Fire warranty okay. on each and every product. That's crazy. That's this one looks it's nice. A, yeah, it's a duffel bag. Duffel bag, yeah. They look a good. Very good quality duffel bag. The stitching looks good. Look at the stitching over there. And the leather. And they do the really look bag. high quality. You can see the office bag. Office bags for laptops. Yeah, for laptops. You Documents. Can the, yeah, yeah, everything. What can you use? Ladies and gents, what can you look at? Oh, this, this is like crocodile. <laughs> crocodile print is this. Print. This is the print only, yeah, not yeah. the real not crocodile the real, yeah. leather. The leather is real, but the, we have given the print of crocodile. Oh, crocodile yeah. yeah. Okay. So then you have factories here where you produce the bags. You have factories nearby? Yeah, factory we have nearby only in Dharavi. Only in Dharavi, yeah. Factories for production. So, absolutely. We insane. source our raw leather from Chennai. And we make uh, this uh, product in Dharavi only. Okay, okay. So you source the leather from Chennai. Chennai only Chennai. Chennai and Kolkata. And Kolkata both. Mostly okay. from Chennai. That's because the biggest uh, market. Uh, the best quality of leathers. Okay. And then they bring it from Chennai here. Yep. And they uh, you have many create the bags variety and everything. of the bags, laptop bags here. We have the backpacks. Let me show you the good quality backpacks here. Okay, that looks good. And how much does one of these cost approximately? It's around 5,000. 5,000 rupees? Yep. That's not bad. It's a handmade bag. 5,000 Indian rupees. Indian rupees, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's approximately like uh, 50 US dollars or something. This is a ladies laptop bag. Oh, it's bags. pretty good to be honest. Ladies laptop bags. Ladies laptop bags, okay. Yep. And you even have travel suitcases here. Yeah, trolley bags. Trolley. Custom wallets. made. That looks good. Damn. Look at that. So, okay, brother. Uh, I mean, no need for uh, for anything of this type. But thank you so much for giving me a tour around. Okay, I show you up on my channel, right? 
Anything, anything. Okay. It was nice you to can meet you. Come over here. Do you like tea? Tea? Yeah. Uh, Dave, I just had sugar cane juice. I've seen you. <laughs> <laughs> and tea, it's gonna mix up. Not well, but thank you. Daniel. Uh, yes. Tell me again. Up can I? Il fun. So, my guy Il fun here will uh, take me to the heart of the slums. Thank you so much. Welcome, sir. So, gonna cross the road. So we are going to take a tour of a slum in Dharavi. Uh, tour of a slum in Dharavi? Yeah. Yep. From here? Yep. From here. Let's go. Any, any, Small any street you go, you find the slums. Okay. So, let's take a tour of uh, the biggest slum in the world here in Mumbai. We'll show you how the people stay here in a very small place. Yes, the living conditions. Yep. So we'll check the living conditions on the slums of Mumbai. Look at these narrow walk, walk alleys, and yep. you have the staircases. This, this, this is a house, yeah? Yeah, exactly. People so, live over here. Okay. It's so around 100 square feet. 100 square foot? Yep. Yeah. So basically, just the bed and bed, nothing else. That's it. And bed, no or, uh, the living, what you, whatever you call it. Bedroom. Yes, living, uh, living room, all in one area. In 100 square feet. Damn. Hello, boy. So look at this conditions yeah. over here. Look Just at the, this street, narrow lanes of Dharavi. That is crazy. And there's yeah. homes in here, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So many homes. That is there. absolutely crazy. And look at this. This leads up to a house. People work from uh, home only. They work from so home. Kids working on a garment. Yes. Okay. So living the moment right now. The senses are kind of weird. Small alleyways. Just looking at the conditions. You have the factory over here. The factories, yeah. So right. Ah, it's crazy, Let man. me check what they bring over here. So thank God, my guy, uh, helped me a bit with the tour because this is kind of sketchy, to be honest. Or it, it might not huh? be actually, but he told me to be careful. So he told me to. You wish to. Uh, Look up. This they is factory. Jewelry boxes over here. Is it possible? Yes, come. It's okay. A very small Let's go up. Oh my God! It's absolutely crazy, man. They are making jewelry boxes. I must stay by. Okay. So this is a business. Yep. Your business? No, just working. And they're make, creating. Oh, this is jewelry boxes. Yeah, watch jewelry, boxes. watch boxes, jewelry uh, earrings. Boxes, yes. Look at this. This is uh, made, yeah, finished. No? No, no. Oh, almost. I look at how he does it. He cuts the velvet, puts it, wraps it around wood, and it creates this amazing boxes here. And this is the shop, and upstairs, more shops or homes? More factory. More factories. Yeah. Okay. Put, like okay. you had. <laughs> look at that. And that is real velvet? Real? Yeah, velvet. All right. That is incredible. You are uh, a master of the business. Yes, artisan. It's artisan, yeah, you are an artist. You are perfectly made. Attention Fine to detail, made. man. Abkanam? Khalil Sheikh. Khalil Sheikh. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice yes. to meet you. Continue the great work, bro. Okay. So, okay, Daniel. Uh, Shukriya. You are Muslim? Yes, sir. Muslim. Shukriya. Shukriya. Bro. Uh, Greece. Uh, uh, country. Uh, Greece, Greece, brother. Greece, bro. In Europe. Achha. Europe. Okay. Yes. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, bro. Be careful. Okay. And <laughs> look at how you go down. <laughs> Just mind your steps. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I will. Look at how you go down here. You hold the rope. Damn. Well, buddy, bro. That is crazy. Uh, take All care, right. Take care. I'm down. He's oh, one of hey. my friends. He works for Zomato. Zomato yes. delivery? Yes, Zomato delivery. <laughs> he will start his work at 12. <laughs> it's a good job. Good job. Here the look at the yeah. narrow alleyway. Yeah. It is absolutely stunning. Yeah. It's a whole different experience getting to see this uh, kind of uh, living conditions here. It's definitely pretty shocking, I'll say. And uh, I think, uh, if I'm correct, there's no running water here, and uh, conditions are very poor, as you can probably see as well. Oh yeah. Okay, let's go from here. I have my guide here. 
just met him. Thankfully, he's a, a good gentleman and he's giving me a tour. But oh, it might be running water. I don't know. Do they, do they have water here? They're drinking water. Drinking water this yeah. time? Yeah. Okay. From the Municipal Corporation of Mumbai. Okay. So. And many people live below the tower. Okay, so yes. Tower. That is an electricity tower. And you just love, live nearby it. That is crazy. But yeah, the government of India built uh, drinking water here. Many factories are over there. Yes. Also. And there's uh, no toilets in the houses? This is shared toilets? The, yeah, the uh, community. community toilets. Oh, okay, so they don't have uh, uh, bathrooms in, uh, in the houses. They basically use these uh, community toilets built by the government, by probably. Yeah? yeah, let me show you one of the biggest community toilets in Asia. Come. Okay. Oh, you show me? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going one one of the biggest community toilets in Asia. In Asia. Okay. Not the toilet, they have the many facilities like washing clothes. Many facilities, yes. Yep. Drinking water. Okay. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Let's check it out. There. Let me show you. Come. Garment factory over here. Okay, garment factory. Oh, he's a tailor. Yep. 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 <laughs> nice to meet you, buddy. To just make a little bit of a quick stop for uh, a Garmin uh, Garmin factory here. Take off the shoes. Take off shoes. Yes. Remove your shoes. Okay. Okay. So. So he's a tailor. He tailors in. Uh, ah, this is only women's clothing. Small kids. Fancy kids? dresses for the kids. Look at that. Ready. That's a piece of art. You have the clothes. He's a tailor. Yeah. Nice to meet you, bye. Look how he does it. He's showing the ready product. This is kids' products, yeah? Yeah. Look at that. This is finished product, yeah? Finished product. They will pack in these boxes. They pack it and they... Look at this. Yes. And then off they go, so this is a... Uh, uh, they go to big uh, showrooms. Yes, so he's a retailer. He doesn't sell this to... And he sells to the... The businesses. Businesses. Yes, so he's a, he's a retailer. Look he's at that. a manufacturer. Yeah, yeah. He sells to the, the businesses, businesses and then they sell the... Yeah. And how much this one approximately cost? In rupees? Can Maybe like... Up, 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 Khazar? Huh? Only so 1,950 rupees. 1,900. Up to 2,000 rupees. Approximately 2,000 rupees. And they sell around more than 4,000, 5,000. Yes. <laughs> oh, look at that. So all you people here with the project May of the investment, you are going to be relocated to maybe another place for free, you know? For free. Exactly. They were, will relocate to free, but many people don't want to re relocate from here. Uh, because there are businesses, families. They have many, many businesses over there. But isn't this beneficial for the citizens? Getting free apartments, maybe better living conditions? No? No, no, not for the many. Not for everyone. Once your livelihood is not with you, yes, what yes. you will do for the uh, for luxury living conditions? I understand, I understand. Yep. Okay. This so we talked area about is known and Putagali, the boxes is make, made over here. Oh, boxes? Yep. Packing boxes. Yeah, packing boxes. Exactly. For parcels. All right. It's around 100 shops are there. Okay. For this packing oh. business. They recycle boxes. Look at this guy. Yeah. Damn, you're strong, brother. Holy. Ah. Strong. strong. Very strong. <laughs> Holy. That is crazy. Don't let the boxes uh, underestimate you because those are heavy. For sure. Strong level. Just came to the, one of the biggest facilities in Asia. Drinking water. Yeah, good so we have basically good quality drinking water, uh, toilets, showers, laundry. Ah. So it's basically everything here. Yeah, and this is this is hygiene community center. Yeah. So it's from the from the government, yeah, right? Exactly. And it's it's free for everyone. No, no, no. They charge a uh, uh, nominal charge. amount. Very little amount. Yep. So it's basically a very small amount. Just to probably keep this place moving. But yeah, as you can see. You have the laundry, you have the toilets, you have the bathrooms. So probably for the people of uh, Darabi, this is a really nice place. And um, I'm pretty sure they're... Uh, uh, hello. 
This is a toilet. Toilet, yeah. Toilet, toilet. This place looks pretty clean, to be honest. So it's exactly. a well maintained, yeah. Yeah, well maintained place. It's a well maintained very place. Hygienic, very well hygienic. Very yeah. hygienic, yeah. It looks like it. I as since February 2022. Oh, it's pretty, pretty recent. Very, very recent. Yeah. All right. Sponsored by United Way, I Builder, and Doctor. So these are the sponsors, yeah. yeah? Okay. Main sponsor is our Hindustan Unilever. Okay. HSBC Bank. Yes. And this is a drinking water. Drinking okay. water, yeah. And that's one rupee for one liter. Is that one exactly. liter? Yeah. Five, five, five liter, five rupees, ten liter, fifteen rupees. Okay. You know Hindi? Uh, Torah Hindi. <laughs> Torah Tora Hindi. Okay, okay. Have done. Yes, Bob. Thank you. Hello. 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 So, we got the kids running around, playing. Run for them. Yeah, yeah. Hello, hello. They're happy, I think. They're happy. Hello. So they got excited seeing the camera there. Oh yeah. You have hair salons. Hello, namaste. Okay, say. Badia. Yeah. The hair salon. Ah. Hello brother. You good? The smells are uh, China. China? <laughs> Not China. No, China. Europe. <laughs> it's Europe. 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 Oh, we have goats. You have even goats? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like uh what is this? Ah, making like from the scrap shop. Scrap shop, yeah. Alright. <laughs> oh, the smells here. Too strong. Too strong. Small eatery. Eatery. Yeah. Ah, it's uh, food. food. Oh, food here. Yeah. So look at the food. Ah, it's a hell of an experience, I should say. Pretty proud to be living this moment right now. We have a man painting. So just finished the the slum tour there. A very small slum tour. Very small <laughs> slum tour, yeah. It's a one per, it was one percent of the Daravi. One percent of uh, Daravi. <laughs> yeah, you get an idea of how big this place is actually. And if you consider that one million people stay here in this uh, poor living condition, it's absolutely crazy. But the community here runs smoothly actually. You have everything in a pretty small location. You walk five minutes, not even five minutes. You walk one minute, you have a hair barber. You walk another minute, you have food. And it's Everything's pretty close nearby, you know? And it's not raining again. No, no, I don't want anything. For sure, brother. Uh, it's my pleasure. My pleasure, bro. Nice to meet you. Same okay, here. thank Same you. Here. Thank you. Thank you so much. So this is the shop, guys, again. Skin Moda. If you want any amazing leather goods in Mumbai, in Dharavi, come here. This guy is amazing. Come to his shop. Buy some amazing leather products. Thank you so much, bye. Good night okay. to meet you. Thank you.